Okay, for all of those that might remember, this is where I introduced you to the Busa. It's a 2008 Busa Hyper Sports Bike. And it really is an absolute missile. And that is the problem. I'm not responsible enough <laughs> to own one. <laughs> and I will end up killing myself on it or going to prison. And I don't want to do either of them. Not yet. Perhaps I'll buy another one when I'm on my last legs in a couple of years time and um, go and commit suicide on it. <laughs> not, actually, not actually commit suicide on it, just, just ride it to my death. Um, but yes, it is a phenomenal machine and I really am upset about getting rid of it. But I've got to, I really have, I can't be trusted. So I've decided it's got to go and may surprise some people, may not surprise some people. But I've swapped it in for one of these. Suzuki GS1000 double overhead cam. Yes. It's got to have surprised a few people, hasn't it? And it? It's got to have. S Reg, 40 years old. I don't know whether I'm legally on the road at the moment. Um, I did sort out my insurance. So I've definitely got insurance. I went to the post office to register it as tax exempt. And I filled out my V112 form. V112? I'm sure it's a V112. I'm carrying it with me just in case I get pulled. He says. There it is. Yeah, so V1, V112, Declaration of Exemption from MOT. So I just write this out, put my name, the registration number and the category. And the category is that it was registered over 40 years ago, which um, means the bike's tax, uh, means the bike is MOT exempt. And then I went to the post office and she gave me this which is a receipt for my tax, um, which is zero pounds because it's tax exempt, but you still have to register every year that it, you still have to apply for your tax every year, but because it's exempt, you don't pay anything. Yeah, something like that. But it's tax and MOT exempt. And look at it, fucking gorgeous. Look at the beast of a motor beast so now the higher boost is gone and i own a 40 year old motorcycle but it's gorgeous gorgeous and it certainly won't do 180 odd mile an hour like the booster so hopefully i shouldn't get into too much trouble with it But yes, what a beast. Starts on the button, it's all ca obviously carbureted and everything. Five speed gearbox. Uh, there's a few strange things. I, I think this was somebody else's light switch. And um, it says that I've got lights over here. But they're all working, indicators all working, yeah. horns working, and that's the thing. Like any vehicle, if you get caught and it's not roadworthy, it's two, two and a half thousand pound fine or something. I don't know whether they can nick, nick and crush the bike or, or the vehicle as well. Um, front feels a bit wallowy I haven't checked the tire pressures but I think it might just be down to a bit of low pressure in the front but it's got a good good turn to it 
again taking it out on the best road all covered in shit and everything I'm so clever I'm not really dressed for it either I, <laughs> I drove from my house or rode from my house round the corner to put petrol in it and just to see if it would start when it was hot because you have to test all it when you to me when you get an old bike um, even when I had the Gixxer 1000 when I first got that that's 2002 the Gixxer 600 when I got that that was on a um, how old was that that was 99 I think um, and I did the same with that that was carbureted did the same with that took it on a short journey turned it all off to make sure it would start when it was hot and it did so then I start trusting it a bit more oh that's it back out onto the main road how very crazy and then park up no Jeez. I'll back out onto a main road and then I'll back up into someone else's driveway. Always searching for that sixth gear. Um, <laughs> he's put me right off that bloke. So yeah, he's got a good turn of speed. For a 40 year old bike, meant to be about 80 85 horsepower I don't know what the newton meters are but I think new they was about 85 horsepower and they were the fastest bike in the world <laughs> I don't know whether that's true but they were certainly a force to be reckoned with back then and um, they had the better frame the sturdier frame for um, cornering and everything it was a market leader in its time. Probably not so much now. But it goes all right. I don't trust this corner at the best of times, so I'm not going to trust it on old tyres and shiny tarmac. Because it is a bit chilly. I don't know how dark this is coming out on the video but it is a bit chilly but there you go this is my new bike my GS 1000 in black MOT and tax exempt and I haven't had a proper look around it it got delivered this morning and um, when it was delivered I started it up and it ran fine it was delivered uh, when was it? 27th of December. What's today? The 4th of January today. It was delivered 27th of December, but it was running on three cylinders. So I said, no. So they took it back and discovered one of the spark plugs was shagged. So they put whole new spark plugs in, four new spark plugs, and it runs lovely. It starts beautifully, and yeah, it runs at the moment. And I'm, I don't know whether that's Clement. Kilometers? <laughs> I don't know whether that's kilometers. Uh, about 30 kilometers I've done so far. It's got to be kilometers, isn't it? It's all in kilometers. So don't think I'm going really fast because I'm not. I'm being a being a wimp, especially around here. Oh, look how shitty that is. You probably can't see, but it's probably getting too dark for you now. So. Anyway, there you go. There's, there's the new bike. GS1000. You'll be seeing more of it. And I, t I dare say there'll be a few shed videos as well. Anyway. Enough said. Ta-ra.